So Lily, uh, it's 2018. I first met you back in what, 2005, something like that? 2005, yes. Yes. And at that time I did a short scar facelift on you and you were how old at that time? 20, so you're 43, 42, something? 45, I think. Oh. What, 45? 43, 43. 43. Sorry, and we just did a little, little tune up around your ears and then I had the occasion to operate on your attractive daughter's nose and yes. your son's nose and then you and I did a little brow lift on you somewhere around 2008. I I that's right we put a, did a chin on you as yeah. well I'd forgotten. And I had an accident right here so that's why I messed it up on this side. <laughs> so and then I didn't see you for a number of years and you rolled in here uh, this summer uh, yes. and you and I'll put the pictures up your before pictures up between us on the video here and while you look good, you're now 57, and you just were feeling tired, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. And Wendy's going to ask you some questions in Spanish here in, in a second, so that okay. our Spanish people can, can understand as well. And so I told you that I don't like to be real radical, mm -hmm. and I said, let's redo your brow lift, and we did that at the surgery center. Mm -hmm. How much did I hurt you? How much did it hurt in the first couple of days? Be honest. Uh, not not hurt, not pain because I was on pain reliever, but I I really didn't feel much. Okay. It was very. And pain. you wore the little head wrap that I wanted you to wear. That's a I big deal. I drove the next day. Yeah. 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 And then we got your stitches out of the week, and mm -hmm. I'll put pictures up of that. And now you're about a month out, right? Yes. Exactly. And so I'll put a picture up right between us right now that shows a close up of your scar line. And I'm just going to lift your hair back. And. I think you look fantastic, you know. And so, sometimes with brow lifts, as we have talked in other videos, your hairline gets pushed way back, and I think you look goofy. And so we do it, make a little cut so that your hairline actually doesn't move back at all. In fact, it might move down just a smidgen. Yes. And you're, you don't look surprised, although the first couple no. of days you'd look a little bit surprised, but by a month it, it looks normal. Right? Yeah. No, it's not. I think it's already. I'm, I'm not sure if it's, there's going to be more changes, but people think that. It, did you lose weight? Because they don't know what I <laughs> Right. <laughs> Maybe you look more weight. refreshed. Yes, yes, yes. And I did a little refreshed. tweak Peaceful. on your upper eyelids at the same time. Yes. And then sometime next year, I think we're going to do a little tune-up of your lower face, right? And we'll yes. do another video then. So, you know, my general philosophy, uh, Lily, as you know, is not to make you look real different. Because I am not. I don't have a magic wand. And, and people, if you take somebody that looks one way and at age 50 make them look real different. A good yeah. percent of those people are going to be unhappy and think that their family doesn't like them as a result of it. I mean there's all kinds of things. So I try to take what you got going for you. And some people have more than others and some people have less than others but you've got very attractive bone structures. And just Thank you, put things back <laughs> up where they were a few years ago and then go from there. And mm -hmm. uh, A few and years ago I just finished college so I was completely like I looked like a prune and I was really bad so that really is in my life <laughs> yeah they just like they know there's something's different but they can't tell what it is which is like a really good thing yeah, yeah. and so you know i hope i was able to accomplish those things and we're pretty good about doing those and not having any big trouble you know right we, we've done a fair amount of work on you and a fair amount of work on other people without any real catastrophes and i think if you're reasonably conservative as a customer and reasonably conservative as a doctor it keeps everybody out of more trouble you don't have that radical transformation and you don't get down into the nitty-gritty parts of your face that don't want to be messed around with okay yeah, uh, she was said at the beginning of the video that she would think you know she would think oh I should do this and then but then she listens to what you recommend and then she decides that yeah. that was I, a good choice I you emailed think? you actually what I wanted I to do that, yeah. and I emailed you my picture and I said <laughs> but I'm not a doctor so I thought oh okay so when you replied that, that yeah, I probably I told you perfection is the enemy of good that's my big it weekend. was a weekend and you're I was looking at myself and thinking about it and, and trying to tell Dr. Lindsay what to do and I say well that's one thing that you wanted but I'm not actually going to go through I, I trust Dr. Lindsay yeah 
Yeah, he's my favorite doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have any other doctor, actually. Oh, no. Sorry, the one that is my back surgery. <laughs> Well, well, thank, thank you a lot, you Lily. I appreciate it, and I look forward no, to seeing you next to you. year. Thanks okay. to you. Thank and say you so hey much. to your daughter and your yes, son. Yes, thank okay. you. See you. <laughs>